Hello everyone and welcome to set 13 Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition, my rogue playthrough. Now, all the way back in set 10, three weeks ago, I decided to tell you guys that I'm going to be recording in advance on the uh, Descent DLC, which is what today's set's for. I'm keeping true to my word with that, so I'm going to go ahead and do the little bit of the, little bit of the DLC now. And I'll continue after I finish all the stuff that leads up to now, which by now should be... Us going to the Fade, doing the companion quests, and hunting down Calpurnia, I believe it is. Yeah, doing Calpurnia's little side quest. Let me check to make sure on that, because I forgot. Yep, Calpurnia. Okay. Now, in order to get this quest to unlock, first and foremost, you need to download the DLC, which is $14.99 on the PSN at the time of this recording. It's a decent deal, honestly. I really enjoy this DLC, so I recommend getting it. But uh, once you get it, it becomes available after the move to Skyhold. Uh, basic premise of the st backstory is after the assault on Skyhold, on of the assault in Haven, uh, there started there started being tremors uh, happening down in the Storm Coast. I really wish there actually were tremors down there, but there isn't, so eh. But we are our tasked to go and investigate and see what the hell's going on. Now there are two ways to go. Well, technically three ways to go into it. First, right after you unlock it, you can choose the Venture Fourth option. Fuck that noise. Second option is to go to the Storm Coast and actually walk there. Um, it's in the back area of the long stream. Leads into a cave. Um, it's, where, it's where you can find some of the shards, stuff like that. Fuck that noise. Or you just fast travel to it once you unlock it, which is what we're going to be doing. Because it makes things so much easier. Alright. Bull. Varric. Solus. In we go! Now, this is the first time I've ever actually done this DLC as a dwarf. I've never even seen videos of Dwarven Inquisitors going down here. It's also the first time I'm going down here with Varric, who hates the Deep Roads. He hates Orzammar. So, well, he doesn't hate Orzammar. He just has a strong disdain of it because of uh, his brother's obsession with the city. So, yeah. Should be interesting, to say the least. Also going down there with the Iron Bowl and Solus, so this should be very interesting. Especially especially with what I know is going on down here. So I'm looking forward to it. workers are almost done building a lift for the deep roads. No dark spawn trouble yet, but the earthquakes have been brutal. I was told to meet a shape of Volta. But she's waiting below. You won't see an Orzammar dwarf on the surface. They have rules about that. You'd think with so many of us up here, they'd relax the restrictions. If anything, this breach business has made them even more cautious. It's hardly the time for a Lyrium shortage. Orzammar's mines need all the protection they can get. I'd offer to go with you, but someone should keep watch. The plus, I could use the sun if this storm ever clears. The lift's ready for you. to shift around and keep back from the edge. It's a long way down. <laughs> this reminds me of a story. Shocking. It's about an impossibly handsome dwarf and his friend who got crowned king of the nugs. A nug king, really. It's not as good as it sounds. Nugs mostly just shit on the floor and roll in it. Welcome to the Deep Roads. So, the Deep Roads. Do you think there'll be tight spaces? Long hallways with low ceilings? 
Possibly. Why? I'm just hoping my horns fit. Dwarves cannot dream, yet they devise the most fascinating inventions. Not all ideas come from the Fade. True. But these designs must be inspired by something. will not be forgotten. You must be Shaper Volta. A trust for La, Inquisitor. The Shaper it welcomes you to the Deep Grove. You look as though you're hiding from something. As a citizen of Orzammar, even a glimpse of your sky could cost me my position and render me captive. Gotta love real dwarves. How many dwarves have you lost? More than we can count. The mining caste has suffered greatly. Our situation has worsened since we contacted Skyhold. The quakes collapsed this mine and shattered a seal, keeping the darkspawn at bay. The Legion of the Dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more lyrium. I've read about the Legion of the Dead. Dwarves who fight Darkspawn in service to Orzammar. They commit their lives to the cause and celebrate their own funerals before entering the Deep Rose. No matter their sins in life, the Legion die noble deaths. There's no time to waste. Take me to the Legion. Apologies for pushing you. I fear the damage that tremor caused. Follow me to the Legion camp. So Soul System that kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, I haven't upgraded my character since the set 10. He basically said that dwarves don't dream. And because of that, they can't be inspired to do shit like that. Or the, well, something like, something like that. I do believe that the dwarves do dream. Just not like the people in Thetis. When people in Thetis dream, they go to uh, the Fade, or at least uh, that's what happens. It's where the um, dreams happen. Basically, the Fade shifts, changes, and becomes whatever the whatever the dream is. I think dwarves do dream, just in a way that is foreign a foreign concept to anyone else. Really should have equipped some freaking um, runes against Darkspawn here. I believe I forgot about that. Oh well, I'm doing pretty good. I believe there's a trophy for killing this guy. I also believe there's a trophy for killing um, one of each Darkspawn. Or one of each Darkspawn type that's in this DLC. Now I'm going to say something because this kind of irritates me a little bit. Um, I really, really wish... With the inclusion of all the new dark spawn that this DLC brings us, that we could see them on the surface. Like you come across a uh, ogre while uh, running around the Emerald Graves or wherever dark spawn uh, likes to spawn from. But no, no. The only thing you ever find on the surface are herlocks or ghouls. You never find genlocks or org ogres or anything like that. Which, in hindsight, makes sense considering it's a, it's not a blight. They are looking for a new uh, archdemon, so of course all the real big ones will be down underground. Here we go. Just returning the favor. If the ogre reached this point, the legion must be overwhelmed. Let us hurry. Alright, <laughs> she almost knocked me off the edge, the bitch. Oh well. Alright. never get used to the stench of dark spawn. They corrupt everything, even the air. Yeah, they're not that bad. I played one for a while. It is worse than I thought. Get 
All right, I can do that. Boom! Fuck all of you. Boom! We need to clear out a path to get them first. So let's kill them. Fuck you! Come on, heal. There we go. Fuck you! God damn! Somebody dark spawn. Man, that recharge rate on my freaking uh, hidden blades is obscenely slow. There we go. Got a good group attack there. Need to heal. There we go. Come on, give me some freaking uh, focus back. If I can get focused, I can use my uh, Mark of the Rift and just get rid of a nice little cluster of these asshats. It's almost there, too. That's whip! There we go. Boop! Fuck all of you! There we go. That's some nice clearing right there. Fucked. Come on. Thought I heal. God damn. You guys hit hard too. That should be, that should be surprising, really. Right, let's go to this Genlock to take care of the Alpha. That's what I'm doing, buddy. No problem is yet. Nope, not yet. Come on. Boop. There we go. Prime them. That's what I'm doing. Go your cover, guys. Now we run. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a dark spawn tooth. I can use that for later. I cleared that pretty damn quickly, Inquisitor, meet Lieutenant Ren, a veteran of the Fifth Flight and one of the Legion's finest commanders. <laughs> Someone paid her to say that. Appreciate the help, Inquisitor. Collapsing that seal bought us time. Blighters had the run of these tunnels for days. Now they have a roadblock. We can't give the Darkspawn a chance to regroup. Let's hit them again before they mount another attack. Normally, that would be the plan. But there is... a complication. You heard that, 
clearer, stronger, more insistent. I hear it. Doesn't prove a thing. These quakes are not a natural disaster. They're deliberate. There's an intelligence behind them. How could an earthquake be caused deliberately? We get plenty of natural tremors down here. These are different. She thinks she knows why. I found an ancient text during an expedition with Ren last year. At the time, it was just a curiosity. But now? The text describes giant creatures called titans living deep underground. They sing in the stone, shaping it. When these quakes began, I believe we heard that rhythm. I believe a titan is causing all this destruction. I've never heard of titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The text I found predated the first light. Its pages had mostly rotted away. And there's no mention of the titans in Orzammar's memory. Which tells you something. All I heard was an earthquake. How is it you and Ren hear a rhythm? With respect, Inquisitor. You were born on the surface. You don't have our connection to the stones. Shapers have great stone sense. Involved us better than most. Never gets lost. Mysterious stones often lure people to their deaths. Or to an archdemon. This rhythm isn't a song, exactly. It sounds like air flowing through lungs. Hmm. Air that can collapse a whole mine. A mystery worth investigating. I'm here to stop earthquakes from destroying the mines. I don't care what's causing them. A woman of action. Good. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime story. Can't be sure until we find the source. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere far below. The stone will lead us there. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a lift at the side passage nearby. Ready when you are. Alrighty then. So, we've got a lot of interesting stuff to do now. But first and foremost, we have access to this. This is basically our, uh, what's the word? Our war table underground. We have access to the deep roads. It will show us maps of everything we've done so far. And the uncharted abyss, which is something we'll come into a little bit later on. Basically, as we go down, we'll see, um, this will actually expand into different maps. Um, as you can see here, this is actually the map that we actually came into. When you get a new area, a new map is laid down, and you can come here and actually see what the entire area you're going to get yourself into looks like. Pretty helpful. But we have these as well, which are generally um, time-free, uh -huh, but they, will, they, will, they don't even require anything. They'll give you um, uh, influence and perks, uh, unlock new areas you can access, stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Uh -huh, there are two that you'll find in the Uncharted Abyss that are repeatable, and they'll give you um, loot, treasure, and things of those natures. But the one we just did to um, give Legion Camp improvements unlocks a shop as well as all this fun stuff over here. Let's grab this quickly. We can modify armor and weapons. We can do potions. We have a requisition table. We can create armor and weapons. Over here, we have this, which gives us 20 of the dragon bits. And in here, the 150 I promised. All the way back in set 10. It'll also give you 100 of level 3 common gear, or um, materials. Some rare as well. So they're pretty good to have. This is a really good shop to get to if you need stuff. Especially if you need dragon parts, which I need. So, I'm going to go away. I'm going to create all the stuff I need to do. Then I'm going to finish off sets... Um, 11 and 12. And then we'll be back here. So I'll see you guys then, and I have a lot more to talk about this place. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.